Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Abby. I'm with Fitness is Medicine. Today we're going to do another great circuit training workout that you can do in your home with very minimal equipment. Um, working your entire body, including balance and core. Okay, today we are going to need a tube or a band, a fit ball, maybe a couple balance discs or a couple pillows or a couple um, playground balls, that type of thing, and a balloon if you have one. All right, so remember to come into these workouts warmed up and ready to move. Five to ten minutes of a cardio workout to get your heart rate up, your muscles warmed up, and your mindset ready for movement. All right, today we are going to start with a row. Just a plain old simple row. Um, working those arms and your upper back and your shoulders. I want you to stand having your tube or your band about chest or hip height kind of right in here. A good athletic stance to start. So your knees are engaged. Um, your quads are engaged, your knees are bent, your hips are back a little bit, and your tummy's nice and tight. We're going to pull that band back, squeezing those shoulder blades, driving your elbows towards the back of the room, <sighs> breathing, and make sure you keep your shoulders down away from your ears. <sighs> nice and slowly, let you control that band. Don't let the band control you. Breathing. <sighs> Remember, you can always scoot back if you need more resistance. You can double up on your bands. Two more. Nine. Really squeeze those shoulder blades. And ten. All right. Okay. Next, we're going to do some reverse lunges. So do this at your countertop or your, you know, somewhere where you can hang on to sit back into that reverse lunge. You want to sit back and then go down just like you're just going to kneel on the ground. We're going to alternate legs, back. If you want to, you can hold a weight in one hand to make this a little bit more challenging. The key here is really stepping really far back and then bending that back knee down. You want your weight in your front heel. So your knee should be directly over your ankle. Whoops, that's why you hang on. I'm trying to do too many things at once. Keeping your chest up nice and tall. You sit. Big step back and then straight down. So your body shouldn't really be moving. It's just staying right over your hips. Back. It's a pretty big step back, which is why I recommend doing it at your kitchen counter or somewhere where you can hang on to really make sure you're going backwards. If you're having any knee pain, make sure, especially that front knee is over your ankle not going forward over your toes. And then also, you can do a smaller range of motion if you need to. Let's do one more on each side, and we're done with that. Okay, good. Like I said, you can hang on to a weight, but if you do, hang on to it with one hand, so that you still have one hand available to hang on if you do lose your balance. Um, and then the next time you go through, put it in your other hand so that you can have that uh, working your body equally on both sides. Okay, now we're going to lower down to the floor. And we're going to do a triceps dip. So on your, um, just seated on the floor with your you know, feet resting, knees bent. We're going to push up. So you're lifting your hips up off the floor with your arms. So your legs aren't doing anything here. So we're pushing up and down. You can see my triceps engaging there. This isn't a very big movement. You can make it a bigger movement by lifting your hips a little further off the floor, but that also changes the angle on your shoulders a little bit, and I don't want any shoulder pain resulting from this. Nine and 10, good. They're just small little dips. It's not a very big movement, but it's a really effective triceps exercise. Okay. Now we're going to sit on a ball, squeezing um, either a couple pillows or a couple playground balls. We're going to do knee and arm squeezes. I'm going to lift this up a little bit. So you don't have to sit on a ball. You can just sit on the edge of a chair or countertop or, um, sorry, coffee table. I'm going to put one between my knees and one in my hands and squeeze at the same time. So like I said, you can use anything here, pillows. I've used a foam roller in the past that I just hold on to. 
And you can control how hard you're squeezing too. This is a great pelvic stabilizer. And, and when you're squeezing this, you're getting your pecs. And when you squeeze them both at the same time, you're getting some good core as well. So you make sure you're sitting up nice and tall. Don't squeeze like this. Keep those shoulders down. Squeeze and hold for two or three seconds and then release. Like I said, you are controlling how much you're squeezing here. If you're really not feeling it, try and squeeze it a little harder. One more. And rest, good. All right, now grab that balloon that we talked about. If you have someone around to help you, this is a fun one to do together. I'm just gonna stand over here. And we're gonna do, just try to keep the balloon in the air. So to begin with, you might just stand and bop the balloon around and try to keep it in the air without doing much. Now, if that is okay and it's not too much of a challenge, we'll tilt this down just a little bit. Then try doing it in a tandem stance. And also, you can do it in a small little space, you know, just keeping it right here. Or you can challenge yourself and kind of pop it out to the side, wait till it goes down low, reach. Or you can do it off the wall. Like I said, if you've got someone around, this is a fun one to do together. All right, switch and put the other foot in front. If you are needing that challenge, or you can just stand with your feet closer together. Challenge yourself though. Reach, and like I said, you can do it off of a wall. It makes it a little more challenging. You have to go get it a little bit more. Kind of fun. All right, good. So do each leg for about 30 seconds. If you're just standing and bopping it around without um, adding the balance challenge of a tandem stance or even a single leg foot stance, single leg stance challenge, Baloo and Tubby are here to help me today. Um, then try to keep it in the air for as long as you can and then move on to the next one. Okay. For the final one, we're gonna move down to the floor and I'm gonna use this ball. So we'll see if we can keep the dogs from being too uh, interested in this one. All right, come on, move over here. All the dogs. Come on, come on, get out of here. All right, so we're gonna do a dead bug on the ground. So what you're going to do is lie down and put the ball between your hands and your knees. And to begin with, we're just gonna switch Opposite arms and legs, just so you get the feel of it. Feet on the ground, and you can squeeze that ball between your hand and your knees. Now, if that feels pretty easy, um, you can try lifting up those feet and then holding it there. So we're alternating sides. So my right arm and my left leg, left arm, right leg moving them. Now you can also squeeze, like put a lot of pressure here with your arms and knees and squeeze, or you can just kind of hold it there, whatever you can, wherever you are with that challenge with your tummy. So keep going, breathing. Also, if it's starting to hurt your back at all, you can keep your knees bent and do it more like that. Your goal is to keep that back flat to the ground. We talk about that a lot, but really trying to engage that core, keep your back as flat to the ground as you can. All right, do 10 on each side, and that is it for today. If you have any questions, of course, you can send me a message uh, below or a private message, and I'll get back to you if you need any suggestions for you know, alternative exercises, things like that. Have a great workout, everybody. We'll see you next time.